Mike, it's good to see you again. Thank you. Th thank you. Fight week. You haven't been in one of these for about four years. You did an open workout yesterday. Everyone's asking you why, how, give us the reason. Forget about all that. Old news at this point. Everyone wants to know what's going through your mind. Is the old Mike back? Is vintage Mike back? Let us know. Are you talking to me right now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm back, yeah. You're the star. I'm just happy to be here. Um, I love you, too. Thank you. What goes through your mind when you hear him go into that dark place? Yeah, it's cute. You know, I fear no man, so I want him to be that old savage Mike. He says he's going to kill me. Is that, is that what you're going to do, Mike? Because I'm ready. I, I want that killer. I want the hardest match possible Friday night, and I want there to be no excuses from everyone at home when I knock him out. So is, is that what you're going to bring, homicidal? I'm just ready. That's all I can say, I'm just ready. I don't think anyone has ever referred to Mike Tyson's talk as cute before. That is a first. Mike, the line that I can't get enough of, the one that I keep watching over and over again, when you and your team were watching Jake after the Mike Perry fight, you said the difference between me and him is that he's a manufactured killer. He's, he's the killer that papers and TV made. I'm a natural born killer, that's what you said. That, that we felt in our bones. That's what everyone who grew up watching you remembers. Can you expand on that? Why is he manufactured and why are you for real? Yeah, that's what I said, that's what I said. Yeah, I was just wondering if you can expand on it. I mean, can you give me- It's just what it's I said. It's just that, all right, that's, that's cool. Uh, when you hear that, do you agree with that, Jake? Is there something to that? Whatever he wants to think, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion, but the deadliest weapon on the planet is manufactured and that's a nuke. All right, I do believe that is accurate. Um, and what is going on with your ear over there, Jake, if I could just ask that? I'm not getting my shit bit off on Friday night, so I got my diamond spiked ear covers right there. All right. Uh, Jake, this question is for you. We know this fight is eight rounds, two minutes, but is there any chance this goes to a decision or does this have to end in a knockout? No, someone's getting put to sleep. It's gonna be a war and we're both heavy hitters. It's not going the full 16 minutes. Question for Mike Tyson. Mike. The question is, Jake Paul, the biggest clown within boxing. If Mike lets you No, 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 wait, 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 go back to Andreas. Go back to Andreas, go back to Andreas. Is that Tony Bellew? That looks like Tony Bellew. It is Tony Bellew. It does? Is that Tony Bellew or is it Darren Till? Andreas, keep going. Yes, sir. Now, what is this? A Fisher Price microphone? I can't. I actually can't tell if it's Tony Bellew. Is it? Okay, Andreas, keep going. No, legit. Is it Tony Bellew? I can't tell. Is it Tony Bellew? Fifty extra pounds? Okay, Andreas, go ahead. Yes, sir. Andreas, go ahead. Mike Tyson. Mike. Well, um, the people speak for itself. I don't even have to ask them. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Biggest live gate in U.S. boxing history outside of Las Vegas. Numbers don't lie. So people want to see this, and that's an amazing accomplishment. Credit to Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano and Mike and everyone on the card as well, Naraj, Mario Barrios, Winderson, everybody, Bruce Garrett, ev literally everyone, Lucas, everyone. So we all did this together, and this is a, a statement that we had the biggest live gay outside of Vegas in U.S. boxing history. Uh, I right. Thank you. I'm not gonna lose. But but just you say that in the last minute of the second. I am not down. gonna lose. Did you hear what I said? Thank you. Lose, but the odds say differently. Uh, how disrespected does that make you feel? And why do you think you are the underdog? Thank you. Hey, um, <laughs> I'm fine with everything. I'm fine with everything. Appreciate it, my friend. But we thought there was enough negativity in the world, so we were curious if you had something nice to say about one another. Well, 
I'm getting booed? Anything come to mind, Jake? Well, I think he's going to look good in the picture when he's on the canvas and I'm standing over him. Anything come to mind, Mike? I'll take that as a no. Uh, question. We don't follow their career at this point. Yeah, I'm blessed to be in the position I am to be highly criticized. That just means I'm doing something right. And no one has had a boxing career like mine. It'll be studied and, and judged, but I've risen to the top in four years because I've taken risks. I was the underdog all the way up until Nate Robinson, and that's something that people don't remember or don't give any credit to, but I put it on the line against some of the best in the sport every single time, and that's why I'm here on Netflix against the biggest name in boxing right now. Thank you. Man, I, I just, there's a lot of shit talk online saying you're gonna kill me and, and it's just nothing in person. It's, I don't know. It, it's uh, pretty boring, pretty fucking boring. Do you think these are mind games? I don't know, man. It, it's not working, whatever these games are. It's not gonna change the result of what happens Friday night fighting again after this fight, and if you could pick someone to fight Jake next, who would you pick? I'm just interested in this fight right here at the moment. And who would you pick to fight Jake next if you could? I'm not talking about fighting anybody, only Jake. Thank you. Future of boxing. Yeah, man, just excitement, excitement. Big fights, big knockouts. You know, a lot of fighters go in there and they have boring ass fights like Floyd Mayweather, and I've brought in up a lot of excitement to the sport, knocking people out in the biggest platforms possible, going against the biggest names and making matchups that the fans want to see, crossover MMA fights, things like that, fighting other massive names in the sport. So I'm gonna continue to do the biggest fights, the biggest pay-per-views, the biggest streams across the board and just continue to push myself. And I think people resonate with my content and just promotional ability. With you, Shushu, no pressure. The baddest man on the planet, I am Mike Tyson. All right, that's one nothing. What about you, Lucas? Jake Paul. All right, one one, Shadeja. Jake Paul. All right, two one, Niraj. Mike Tyson. Two two, Mario. Iron Mike. Uh, three two, four Mike. Amanda. Come on, Jake Paul. All right, three three, Katie. You can never bet against a legend, Mike Tyson. 4-3, Mike. Abel. Tyson. 5-3, Mike. Winderson. Tyson. 6-3, Mike. Melinda. Tyson. 7-3, Mike. Mike Tyson. 8-3, Mike. Mike Tyson. Damn. Jake, the disrespect. It's palpable. I love it. I love it, you know? Hey. When I see dumb people saying dumb predictions, I, I just feel bad for them. So at the end of the day, who wants to bet on it, huh? Does anyone want to bet on it? I'm, I'm shaking hands. So how much we want to bet on this? You said, Mike, how much you want to bet? He said he's good. That's what I thought, bitch made. How much you want to bet? Mike Tyson. How much? How much you? How much? As much as you're willing to lose, brother. So, okay, okay, so I'll give you my, my property. How much? Yeah. How much? My property is like more than one million. I'll okay, give you. Okay, deal. Deal. How much you want to bet? How much you want to lose? Bro, you, I, I, the time I spend taking a shit is how much you make in your whole life, buddy. Oh, the fuck up. How much you want to lose? Whatever, whatever. A million dollars, deal. We got one million here, one million here. Okay. Come on. You guys want to fucking do this? Put your money where your mouth is. How much money? Exactly. How much money? I don't speak English. Exactly. How much money? A ring. Deal. Let's go. I'm, I'm following up on all this shit. A million? A million? 20 bucks right here. That's what I thought. It goes down in two days' time, my friends. Once again, most valuable promotions, Netflix teaming up. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I forgot Katie Taylor back here. How much you want to bet? As much as you want. Yeah. I'm not losing. No <laughs> shot in hell. Well, uh, do you want to bet your purse? Yeah, let's bet the purse. <laughs> oh, my Deal. Dear. Well played. Well played. And I'm sending out contracts, too. The stakes have just been raised. Tremendous stuff. Yeah, Mike, Mike Paul. One last time. Jake Paul, Mike Tyson.
Jackson.